ever since then, the club's been so helpful to me that, you know, I can call them up, people from Packard Bell, that's where we meet, or Lucid Technologies, or IIT, and these, these are the grandfathers. They understand electric cars. So the only difference with my car is I built a ground up because they have an average of 15 batteries, and they're called deep cycle sixes or deep cycle twelves. And our president has 21 batteries, that's why he's the president. <laughs> so what I did is I designed a way to get 80 batteries into my car, which this is how it works. It goes and uses up eight batteries to run the motors. When the eight batteries go 50 to 90 miles, they're depleted, and then we switch over to the next eight pack. And we can do that 10 times, so we have almost five or ten times the range of any of their cars. So we're trying to dispel the myth that electric cars go slow and they don't go far. So okay, I know in looking on your website, dreamcar123.com, is that correct? Okay, on that website, going through uh, the last few days and looking at it, uh, the vehicle curb weight of 8,000 pounds. Now that's uh, you know, twice or three times what uh, most cars are, but you're able to still get uh, uh, up to 200 miles per, per hour. That's amazing. It's an amazing car, and how we do that is we have brushless motors that pretty much only go 100 miles an hour, but when you double the power to them, they double the speed. Okay. It's a fantastic car. And uh, you shouldn't be out doing 200 miles an hour. <laughs> no, I but, don't think uh, there's uh, any place outside of, uh, you know, a racetrack, uh, Chicago Land Speedway or something. But what interests me is that there are a number of uh, companies out there, automobile companies, and others like yourself that are getting involved with not only the safety aspect, but with the uh, renewable energy. And you've got the Prius from Toyota and you've got GM coming out with their new, I believe it's the Volt. The Volt. And you've got others that are looking at uh, hybrid type vehicles. And uh, a lot of people, you know, with the price of gas are really thinking about it, but then there are other die head gear heads that say, you know, you've got to have a big V8 engine and none of this electric power and battery and solar operated and everything. But you're proving them that uh, you can have the best of both worlds. Well. Bob, really the Electric Car Club proved it to me. One of the guys there has a motorcycle, if you remember the Oswego drag strip, that does the drag in six seconds and it's an electric. And wow. I didn't realize that these things, these motors have all the torque you want to put in them. An electric car works kind of like on a butterfly switch, like a diesel locomotive. So if you have a scale of 1 to 10 and you give the car a 1, it's going to do 10 miles an hour. If you give it a 6, it'll be doing 60 miles an hour. If you give it a 10, it'll be doing 100 miles an hour. Vice versa, my car doesn't have brakes in it, and people kind of laugh at me when I say that. No brakes? No brakes. You just put it back down in 1 and you're doing 10 miles an hour. If you lock it up, the electric motor will stop this car four times faster than disc brakes. The uh, weight issue can be an issue or it can be an asset. Once an object is in motion, it tends to stay in motion. We've also added an extra few hundred pounds when we gel filled our tires. They're very, very heavy. These work similar to a flywheel except in the direction of the road which allow the car, to, once it's moving, to have centrifugal force to keep it moving. Also, the first time we took our car out, it was so heavy, it blew the tires out. It was, you know, air tires weren't going to handle this. Okay, I know I was fascinated talking with you, I believe it was yesterday, about the gel-filled tires and how you're able to put this chemical into the tires to make it kind of run, run flat type tire. Yeah, people have too many flat tires. I'm a carpenter, and in my life, I've, I've had you know, five or ten flat tires every single year. So that's a great way to avoid that. What we did is we drilled holes in our tire and filled them up with GE silicone too that you can buy at any hardware store. And uh, you can do that to any tire. We, uh, my, my 15 year old son, Gregory, now 16, 
got me 17 patents in one month. That's one of the patents that is incorporated in the car. One of the other patents is that inside of the car, we have a pre-inflated airbag in the windshield area, and that's very similar to a regular airbag, except it's clear, it's made out of Kevlar, and it's running on 15 pounds of pressure, and it's three and a half inches thick, so when you hit the windshield with your head, it will just bounce right off. It's already inflated, or any, any of the windows, and also the inside of the car is pre-padded with two inches of a bubble Kevlar. So any type of a crash, you're already, you're, we have a seatbelt of course, but you're already in a pre-inflated air bubble. That's one of the reasons that our walls are so thick and the, the main reason that right now we've designed a one-seater car and are building a one-seater. But people are asking for a two-seater. We've designed a two-seater and a four-seater that's a lot longer. But we're concentrating on building one car at a time. We're hoping to start our next car January the 1st, but it's, it's redesigned. It's narrower and longer, so it's very much the same car. And uh, we like the pyramid shape because it eliminates wind drag. Our, for, our car right now isn't going too fast, but our next car we intend it to go very fast. Okay. And it, it does not have a very wide windshield, which will eliminate at least 50% of the drag at the top of the car. We, we entered both of these cars in Hobby, Hobby Town, USA last year. And both of these two cars won first place. One car here is the solar car, which is covered with solar panels all the way around. In inside and outside the body are covered with solar panels. So if I was to come to work here... And the solar panels are then uh, change the, the, sun, the power of the sun into yeah, electricity. They're, they're charging the car up while you're, while you're at work anywhere. So hopefully you won't be parking it in a garage. You'll be leaving it out in the sun. Okay. And if it's snowing on the car, we're going to heat them and melt the snow off. Okay. Okay. Amazing here. We have some prototypes, uh, some of the models, and uh, we're going to be showing this model that's on the floor, and I know it's uh, uh, battery opera or operated, uh, control operated, and we'll be doing that and talking about some other things that are going on, but I think we've come to the point in the program where we need to take a brief pause for some messages, but we'll be coming right back and we'll have more uh, with Greg on uh, his Wonderful inventions. That's coming up next right here on Fox Valley Today, Headline Makers.